I don't even know how to start this. My pet bird Jellybean has recently passed away. I love that little ball of fur with all of my heart. I don't know, she was more than just a bird, you know. She was a part of this family. And I'm going to miss her. I'm gonna miss the sounds she used to make when she walked on the ground. I'm gonna miss the way she used to get excited and started flapping her wings whenever we ate something. It's just not gonna be the same without her. This video was recorded back then when she was still alive and it's probably going to be the last time that we'll ever see her. Rest in peace, buddy. I'm gonna miss you. Anyways, I'm sorry to start the video on such a sad note. Enjoy the rest of the video and I'll see you guys in the outro and we'll say goodbye to Jellybean together. my channel ah my neighbors are going to hate me all right so since my last a day in the life of a college student at tom video did so well i figured you guys would want to tag along again and if you guys want to see a busy day full with classes presentations tutors and so on make sure to watch the whole video Anyway, so it's a Thursday and it's almost 8.15. This is my calendar. And as you can see, today is the only day of the week in which I have to wake up so early. Not gonna lie, if it was any other class, I would just sleep in and then watch it later since they upload every lecture to our website after the actual live stream. I'm gonna start the day with my introduction into software engineering class. But the thing I like about this class in particular is that during the live stream, our professor makes us take quizzes or in-class activities and stuff like that. Oh, and not just during the live stream, also at the beginning of it. Our professor calls them good morning quizzes. It's supposed to wake us up and to be honest, cause of the adrenaline, it really does. Speaking of which, mine is about to start, so... And the quiz is done. I think I did alright. Hey, let's go, 100%. What a good way to start the day. Let's go make some coffee while the professor talks about the quiz. You know what the great thing about this quarantine is? I don't have to leave my house for the lectures. Which means that since I'm done with my quiz, I can go back to the couch, relax and watch the rest of the live stream there. Okay, so right now we have an in-class exercise. Let me tell you guys why we have these though. So in order to earn some bonus points for the exams, you get homework, quizzes, and in-class exercises like these. And at the end of the semester, depending on how well you do on these exercises, you get your bonus points. But the in-class exercises are like gifts because the professor does all the job really. And all we have to do is copy them. Ooh, and before I forget, in order to earn these bonus points, you also have to present two exercises in the tutorials. Speaking of which, I will present one after this lecture. Anyways, now let's just watch the professor do his thing. Location layer, and I change the association to a dependency. This would be the easiest way how to model this. Let me copy and paste this again, and now we want to model the network layer. Oh, it's 11 a.m. at the moment, and I am starving. And yes, the lecture was three hours long, and I'm dead. I have to eat something, but not gonna lie, I don't have the energy to cook. Therefore, I'm just gonna prepare a quick omelet and inhale it. Okay, 
Hey, quick update time. So I have my isotorium in about 30 minutes and therefore I'm just gonna relax a bit. Maybe even take a quick nap and I will see you guys before the tutorium. 20 minutes later. Okay, so normally I have my isotoriums on Wednesdays. However, something came up yesterday and I had to skip it. What's great is that I contacted another tutor and he let me join his tutorial. Anyways, I'll talk to you guys in a bit. My presentation is coming up. Okay, so as you can see for our actor, we have the player and he is connected to three use cases start game stop game and steer game 12 seconds later and the choose collision type is connected to start game with an includes however i made a mistake over here instead of connecting choose collision type with crash car i had to connect choose collision type with evaluate collision a few moments later and yeah that's pretty much it thank you for listening to me Okay, so the next tutorial I have is for my class Theoretical Informatics. The weird thing about the tutorials this semester is that we have to learn everything by ourselves. And I think that this is because of the coronavirus, but it's simply unfair. Normally, the tutorials are there so you can practice the theory you learn during the lectures by doing some exercises. However, now all we get to do is ask questions. And we have to solve the exercises by ourselves beforehand. But thank God the situation is not too bad. And that is because some selected tutors upload their solutions on a website. I'm going to be completely honest with you guys. I understand nothing from the lectures. All I do is basically just look at the screen and be like, the f*** is going on? And then I basically understand most things during the tutorials. So if you just started studying at Tum, don't beat yourself up if you can't understand something during the lectures. No one can. Anyways, let's start with the tutorial. Also. jetzt noch das Spiel und das A einfügen, einfach von T anfangen würde, diese Regel. Ich will aber das A zwischen X und Y quetschen. Das heißt, was sinnvoller ist, ist, Okay, so that's it for my tutors and my lectures for today. I'm gonna start doing some homework and some coding, so if you wanna see that, stick with me. However, I need a break. Because if I don't take a break, I think my brain is going to explode. The best way to relax your brain muscles is to work on your other muscles. Not gonna lie, because of this whole quarantine, I've been slacking a bit when it comes to working out. I think I haven't touched any of my weights in about three months. I mean, I box sometimes, maybe go jogging every now and then, but like heavy lifting, nope, too lazy for that. Anyways, let's go downstairs and work out a little bit. Cue the music. Okay, one thing you should know is that studying at Tum comes with a lot of homework. And I mean a lot. I swear to God, I say this every semester, but this semester's homework are way harder than the ones before. However, one good thing is that we are not doing the homework alone. We have partners. Well, that's an advantage for sure. It also puts a lot of pressure on me because I don't want to let my partner down. And so I study more. Anyways, enough talking. I'm going to start with my theoretical informatics homework and then move on to my discrete probability homework. I did as much as I can for now, but my brain can't take it anymore. I need a little change. So I'm gonna start with my discrete probability homework. However, I don't want to bore you guys to death. So here is a flashback to Mother's Day. So today is Mother's Day. Well, at least for me. For you guys, it might be two weeks ago or three weeks ago. Depends on when I will post this. This Mother's Day has to be special. And you want to know why? It's because I'm 20 years old now. That means I've been a pain in the ass to my mom for about 20 years. That is a big milestone. Anyways, I thought a lot about on what I should get her. And then it hit me. What do women love the most? Jewelry. It was perfect because this was going to be the first thing I was gonna buy my mom with my hard earned YouTube money. So I hopped on Swarovski's website and selected a couple of bracelets and BAM! 
Now, every time she wears these, she's gonna think of me. And Swarovski, if you're watching this, do you guys maybe wanna sponsor me? Anyways, let's get the start of this video. Birth giver! What do you want, you nightmare child? <laughs> so first of all, happy Mother's Day, mom. Thank you. Mm -hmm. You're so cute. <laughs> okay, so mom, I have a special surprise for you, but you're gonna want to sit for this. <laughs> First of all, I want to say that I'm so grateful and so thankful that you're my mom. I feel blessed having you in my life, and it's a big milestone, 20 years of motherhood, mom. And therefore, I got you something special. Oh. I don't know if you like them, but I hope you do. What is it? What is it? No! Why, Dominic, you shouldn't have. You have owed me too? Mom would be enough, Dominic. Oh, it's so beautiful. You shouldn't have done it. It's really nice. Thanks. And it has the symbol of a feather. I like feathers so much. Thank you. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> and now, time for the second one. It's like Cartier. <laughs> it's not, <but> okay. <laughs> Whoa, this is nice also. Thanks. You're welcome. I think you should get a raise. Yes. Put it on, put it on. <laughs> Dominic, they are so gorgeous. I will never take them off. Thank you. Thank you, you nightmare child. <laughs> I love you, boy. Thank you. Too. Oh. On my last home video, I mentioned that I was taking a Spanish class for some extra credits. And if you haven't seen it, click the I button right over there. Anyway, some of you guys reached out to me and told me that you wanted to see more of it. Well, my Spanish classes are on Tuesdays, but here is what it looks like. Me encanta ver películas e ir al cine y por eso quiero trabajar en Hollywood en el futuro. En mi tiempo libre me encanta filmar videos porque soy un youtuber. <laughs> me gusta escuchar música pero no me gusta la música clásica. Yo tengo un amigo um, que vive en Canadá, Toronto. No me encanta visitar museos, los encuentro aburridos, pero los visito a veces. Okay, some time has passed. Obviously, it's dark outside. For the people who don't know, right now it's my fourth semester. The weird thing is, we are not coding as much as we did on the last semesters. And obviously, I don't want to forget what I learned. So, I practice every now and then, and I might as well show you guys. If you want to study computer science or anything similar to that, I highly suggest that you come with some coding experience. Okay, a little information for you guys. So, in the first semester, we do almost everything with Java. Definitely look it up before studying here. We also use some assembly for our computer architecture class. However, if you're planning on studying games engineering, we use a lot of C Sharp. Now, during the second semester, nothing new, again, Java. For the games engineering students, you are going to use a lot of C++ and HLSL. Third semester, nothing new, but in the fourth semester, you start using Haskell and obviously a lot of Java. So long story short, I would say the most important coding languages are C++ and Java. Java will become your life. Check it, check it. Hey, people. For a while now so i'm just gonna call it a day i'm just gonna edit some videos maybe play some playstation 4 maybe watch some youtube and i'll see you guys in the morning for my outro anyways guys that is the vlog i hope you guys enjoyed it and um here's my last goodbye to jelly i love you so much i hope you're in a better place
you don't squeak, huh? Okay, I did as much as I can for now, but my brain can't take it anymore. I need a little change. So, I'm gonna start with my discreet other building. 